and it will be for the WBO European Super Featherweight Championship. Brought to you by Frank Warren on behalf of Queensberry Promotions in association with the Cayenne Prince Foundation along with their great sponsors, 32 Red and Foot Asylum. It is sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control, steward in charge, Des Reese, along with the World Boxing Organization, President Francisco Paco Barcarcel, Supervisor Beate Bosca, Timekeeper John Smith. Our three judges scoring on a 10 point must system will be Steve Gray of England, Mihai Leu of Romania, and Ingo Barrabas of Germany. Our referee in charge, third man in the ring, will be Howard Foster of England. Introducing to you first the challenger fighting tonight out of the red corner. He's wearing black with yellow and weighed in at nine stone, three pounds. Coming to us from Dublin, Ireland, he brings a professional record consisting of 19 wins, four defeats with four wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Declan Pretty Boy Garrity. And his opponent across the ring, he is the defending champion, fighting tonight out of the blue corner. He's wearing pink with blue and weighed in the same as his opponent, nine stone, three pounds. Hailing from Welling, London, England, he is undefeated with 16 wins. Eight of his 16 wins come by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning and defending WBO European Super Featherweight Champion, Archie Sharpshooter Sharp. Go on, Declan. I am. Come here. Okay, fellas, spoke to you both in the dressing room. You both know I expect. Keep it clean. Great straight away when told. Both of you watch your heads in close. Good luck to you both. Touch loves. Go, lads. Good Doncaster accent. Sorting things out, telling them how it is. And on paper, this could be a very good fight indeed. Archie Sharp has got the bulk of support, but there's a fair few as well in the corner for Declan Geraghty, the Dubliner. Southpaw, very tall for a super featherweight, Geraghty, five foot ten. Sharp himself is uh, long and lean, stands five foot nine. For the moment, fighting out of an orthodox stance, he can switch hit. Interesting to see who seizes the early initiative. Yeah, and the tenth thing that is, is the onus is on Garrity just to silence the home crowd. You know, he's a, he's a boxer by trade, but you know, he needs to maybe just be to stamp a bit of authority in. Oh, good right hand there from, from Garrity, just catching Sharp coming forward, maybe squaring the feet ever so slightly. A lot of talent around in this division in Britain and Ireland. I'm sure that Zelfa Barrett, Sam Bowen, and the rest will be watching on here. Seeing, oh, that's a lovely right hand lead from Geraghty. Caught Sharp napping. I did say to Sharp, How happy are you about facing a southpaw? And how have you got on against him in your pro career? And that was kind of dead battered. But he said, As an amateur, I face plenty of them. Yeah, I think there's more, more southpaws now than ever before. So back in the old days where you'd be lucky to have. Well, unlucky to have met one or two in your whole life, but now you're, you're up against him every other week, especially in the amateur code. In preparation for this, he's been sparring Ricky Burns and Jordan McCurry, who was his opponent in his last fight back in July. Declan Garrity. That's good there from Garrity again. He there. started but, this nicely. He has, yeah, missed with the right hand, but he got through with the, with the left hand there from the, from the southpaw stance. 
it opened really nicely when he got chinned by Marco McCullough. Complaint about uh, the clash of heads, and Garrity thinks that was deliberate. It opened well and uh, then got pinned in the third yeah, he round. Did. He was boxing really well. I, I was there that night. Yeah, he just got caught. Got with a good shot against a, against a Golden Bank, and, and he has to be wary of that tonight because. Sharp has a little bit of a spike in his shots also. Oh, good shot again from Garrity. A sweet left hand that time. Yeah, he's that. In fact, like we said, he maybe needed to to silence the crowd. He's, he's done that so far. Sharp, who's come through those excellent wins against Leon Woodstock and against McCorry and also the stoppage Next win against Sergio Gonzalez Sergio earlier in the year, Sergio Gonzalez. But Garrity having the edge so far in this opening round. Again, in and out, which I'm sure is what his father, Declan Senior, will have said you've got to do. Yeah, he's darting in, but not with single shots. They're throws a combination, so it just makes it a little bit more difficult for, for Sharp to counter. That's what Sharp's doing, he's trying to walk him down, looking to get his release, he can counter the long left hook, but, but he's firing in combinations, making that a little bit more difficult. Good opening round. Richard Sawyer in the Archie Sharp corner saying, let him come, let him come, and then catch him with the counter. Well, he certainly not had too much success with that in the opening round. No, but I think we've just seen him get caught there, no, not this replay, but the first replay where he did try and come forward and walk onto a shot, so maybe just a little change in tact, but yeah, you tend to think that he tried to just put a bit more pressure on Garrity. But a good right start there for Garrity, settled the nerves, quiet the crowd a little bit, that's just what he needed. Yeah, nice opening from the Southport Dubliner. Had those two fights against John O'Carroll, which people might remember. The first one ended in a disqualification, second one. Carroll won it by ninth round stoppage, but only after Garrity had had some terrific moments in that fight. It was a real crack of battle, head. that one, and there's been a, a crack of heads in there inside. Not sure if there's any damage done to either of them, hopefully not. Wow. Well, the referee's going to have to have a word about that. Doing better there as the exchange is there. Garrity, nice little right hook, and then tightening up the defence. Not allowing Chad to counter with anything. So you've got to be careful, Sharp, when he squares his feet up like that, that he doesn't get caught. He squared up there if, if Garrity throws that left hand. Not much resistance to hold, you, to hold your ground with. British champion Sam Bowen has a mandatory defence against Anthony Kakachi coming up before too long. Zolfa Barrett waiting on there. Frank, again, War yeah. Frank Warren, the promoter, said it'll be good to see who's uh, who's going to look as the uh, as the best in Britain. And Declan Garrity, quick as a flash at the press yeah. conference, said, "I'm Irish. Well, Let's see if I'm in there." <laughs> and quicker than flash here as well, with the footwork's a little bit sharper here, off the mark. He's pushing up that off that back foot, and you have a little bit more speed in his work here, Garrity. And Sharp, just for the minute, just finding it hard to find his rhythm. Garrity trying a little uh, little Roy Jones there, a little flick of the leg, step up of the leg there, trying to deter the focus of Sharp before he counters. Sharp not really done a deal in this fight so far, needs to find his way into it somehow. Again, Garrity making him miss, nothing landing. Frustration, I'm sure, for Archie Sharp and indeed for his fans. 
we say the Gareth, you know, I just do what you're doing. He's doing a little showboat here. He's obviously he's growing in confidence and rightly so, but not to make any mistakes. That's a lovely left hand there from Gareth. Just walk, he just slowly walked engineered Sharp into the corner there before he let that left hand go. Sharp doing precious little in this round, having been fairly comprehensively being outboxed in the first and maybe losing the second as well. Good start it's been for Declan Garrity. Archie Sharp has got to find his way back into this fight here at the Albert Hall. Two rounds have surely slipped away. Yeah, and he's waiting. I can understand why, because Garrity darts in with, with the attack, so he's waiting just to try and to, to conquer you know, when the first punch comes with a long left hook, take a little step back, but it's not working for him because Garrity's punching in combination. So I think he needs to just try and maybe. Get Garrity on the ropes. Archie Sharp can switch, Barry. I'm, I'm a little bit surprised that he's not had a look at what would happen if he went southpaw. Well, when you're not everything your own way, you'll, you'll stay with it. With it. Oh, good there from Garrity. You'll stay with what you're most comfortable with, what you're used to boxing at. And I think, you know, I think the orthodox dancing is maybe is natural for Sharp. He's getting that foot on the outside, he needs to throw that right hand though. His big Sharp. breakthrough win, Archie Sharp, was against Leon Woodstock, that's better, right hand. But it was uh, an early knockout which really put Woodstock out of his stride and paved the way yeah. for a very impressive performance. And he's not had that early success here. There's a little cut here somewhere on the forehead. On the scalp there of, uh, of Garrity, I don't know if there's anything on Sharp yet. Probably a clash of heads, I would think. Oh, so the left eye there of Archie Sharp, it's the corner of the left eye. Well, that's going to be work in that corner. Again there, that's, well, that was a shoulder there, I think, wasn't it? Catching Sharp. Mark Rowe in the Archie Sharp corner will be the cut man. And uh, I don't really see from ringside just how bad it is. I don't think it's a particularly bad one. I think it might be a head clash that's caused it. Ooh. And if so, then there is the possibility of the technical draw. Good there from Garrity, a little change of direction with the feet dart, and then with only a single shot, but it, it scores and it keeps keeps Sharp off balance. That's if it doesn't go four rounds, of course. If it goes four rounds, accidental head clash, it goes to the cards. That's if it stops yes, as a result course. of the injury. Sorry to be uh, stating the glaringly obvious for those who watch every week, but not everybody does. The right idea there from Sharp, hands nice and high, trying to close the gap, good right hand there from him, but still not having maybe enough success yet. Oh, it's lovely from Garrity there, a little spin to the side. Good response over Sharp, good right up. And the first real success he's had. A wry smile from Garrity, who knows it. Looks very sharp tonight, Garrity. Yeah, he does. That was good, though, from Sharp. Good, the first time he's had a bit of success, and it was when he, he threw when, she, when Garrity was throwing, and maybe that, that's the tact, walk him down. And... You don't win around, though, with one punch, Barry, and that's surely... Oh, hello, that was after the bell. That's surely another one to Garrity. Well, let's see if we can find out whether or not the cut was a, a head clash or a, or, a, or a punch. This might be where it came, maybe. Not too sure. It could be, but the way they both dart and in with their attacks, it, it, and especially, you know, Southport and Orthodox stance, that's got to be it there, right there. Surely. 
There you go. And, and that's quite common with obviously with guys with two different stances. Indicated that it was indeed a clash of heads, accidental clash of heads that caused the cut. Doesn't look a particularly bad one, and we're moving now into the fourth. Well, we've got it fairly clearly at this point, going the way of the Irishman. Good start here though from Chad. Nice little one-two down the line. He needs to get some rounds under his belt. And he needs them pretty soon. Well, I think he needs to do this, what he's doing now, just close the gap and put a little bit of pressure on Garrity and not allowing the space to dart forward, so it'll smother that space straight away. And the gloves touch there. Balance there. Gloves touch the floor there, though, from Garrity. Wasn't caused by a punch, though. No, he swung off balance, I think. Just to relax a little bit here, it's sharp. Before time, only a 10 rounder being a WBO European belt fight, not a 12 rounder. Got the decent right hand there from Chab as he come forward. Just got to keep his concentration though, Garrity. You know, he's been being ahead in fights before and he's got caught too. Well, he has got bags of talent, and he still thinks that he can go all the way, that he can somehow get to the top. No, he's got some great ability, he really has. A lovely move, a lovely boxer. Oh, well, almost, almost swung himself oh. off his feet again. Good right hand, there wasn't there from Sharp as he came back in. That front foot a little bit closer, that's better there from Sharp. Now you now you throw your hands. Shouts of Archie, Archie going from the home support. He comes from Welling, not too far outside London. Oh, oh my word! Well, he's gone down and I don't think he's going to get up, it's all over. It only takes one in boxing, and what a knockout that was. No indication that was coming, and he's been absolutely knocked cold. The referee is telling Sharp to stay away. The doctors, the medical staff are in the ring. They've taken an emergency supply of oxygen in there, and once again, in a fight he was winning and taking by boxing skills, Garrity has got chinned. It was an absolute cork of a hook, it really was. And he's got, he saw got caught, I think he got caught when he was turning into the shot as well. The oxygen, just to tell people if they, if they can see that, the oxygen is a precautionary me measure. It's the automatic thing they'll do to a fighter when he's being knocked out, so they'll be knocked down, so there's no, no panic yet, just, I'm sure he's fine. He's up on his feet, happy to say, and Archie Sharp leading some applause for his beaten opponent. What a shot, though, when he needed it as well, let's be honest. I think he was winning the round, to be fair, Archie Chaff. He closed the distance a little bit more, but Garrity was full of confidence, and we did so of caution. Even though you're winning, you're boxing really well, don't get carried away with that false confidence and maybe get caught with something, and it's, he got caught when he either throwing or turning into a, into a fantastic, beautiful hook from Archie Sharp. It, it started so well, but Sharp was starting to get closer. He was starting to narrow the gap, and now he goes and speaks to Declan Garrity. No animosity between them. I don't think Gar I don't think Garrity can quite believe that he's lost that fight. You saw it was in Garrity's last uh, defeat, where he was boxing so well, but got caught with a beautiful shot. And again tonight, he's boxing so well, but gets caught with a beautiful shot. And as punches, you got you no. Know, we got we got punches on a panel. We'll tell you that it don't matter what the scorecards are. When you when you can throw a shot like that, you no, know, that wins you the fight. Archie Sharp is not a noted big one punch banger, but just take a look at look that. Look at that. See, he gets caught on a turn though. He's turning his body himself there, Garrity. The throw a shot. Hands are low. Look, you see it now. They're both turning. Oh, so deliver, and, he, and he's punching down. The elbows lifted up. He's chopping down with that left hook. It's a fantastic shot here from Archie Sharp. The full twist from the core as well. 
Nothing wrong with that shot. Look at that. Didn't see it as well, right on the button. Oh, Great that shot. Was, uh, an absolutely perfect left hand from Archie Sharp, which totally turned the fight around and means that he is still WBO European Super Featherweight Champion. What a punch it was. And there's the celebration. That's what it means. I don't think he knew at that stage. He didn't know at that stage that Garrity was out cold. No, but as soon as he got off the ropes, he seen Garrity and he went down to speak to him or to see if he was okay. The referee shooed him away, so he did calm down. But let's be honest, it's three title fights, three quality operators, three good wins. You talk about getting the right fight to get you to the top and the right wins, the right test. This guy is having all the right tests to take him to another level. Well, he's certainly moving to another level. The WBO champion is Jamel Herring. He might not be too far away from being in the sights of one of the British fighters before too long. I already mentioned some of the other big names, but for the moment, it's all about Archie Sharp winning here and now. And here's Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. Two minutes, 14 seconds of round number four. Our referee in charge, Howard Foster, rules this a win by technical countout. And still, WBO European Super Featherweight Champion, Archie Sharpshooter Shore. The Sharpshooter is still the champion. He still has his belt. And what a punch that was. Hey, my...